Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with our Barcelona series. This is episode 17. We're back on the modded realism mod on the PC version of FIFA. In today's episode, we have a midweek match against Sevilla. And then we have the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League against Bayern Munich. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to see Season 2 of the Barcelona Career Series, it's going to depend on, well, where we sort of finish up. Real Madrid are three points clear. In first, we sit in second, Atletico in third. We're in the semi-finals against Bayern Munich. We've been drawn against the top opposition. We've managed to progress against PSG in the quarters. But she's still all to play for, both in the league and in the Champions League. Let's get stuck into Sevilla here today. So, um, in the last episode, we won the Copa del Rey, our first piece of major silverware, which is fantastic to see, but that was not a major piece of silverware that I sort of identified that I needed to win. We got knocked out of the Copa de España, but we need to win a major piece of silverware, or I will consider this Realism Modded series, playing as Barcelona, a failure. But let's get stuck into Sevilla here. A crucial match which we need to win. And then we face Bayern Munich. But, overall, the 2021 Champions League final look like looks like it's either going to be between Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Chelsea, or myself. It's going to be incredibly interesting to see who progresses. If it's against Real Madrid, I'm probably not going to like that too much because, well, we've played them so many times this season and we've just recently beat them in a cup final in the Copa del Rey. I kind of secretly hope that Frankie Lampard's boys go through, but you never know. We need to focus on Bayern Munich. We go away to the Bavarians soon. But kickoff's underway. We've got to face Sevilla here at home. We need a win. Come on, Barcelona. Now, I'm going to hold a vote again at the end of this career series. But I'll sort of make a decision whether or not to do a next season. Look, if we lose the league, I'll do another season. I can promise you. If we lose the Champions League, I'll do another season. And vice versa. If we win one, lose one, win one, or lose one. But I'm curious to see if I can get any decent job offers. Ball in. Good stuff by De Bruyne. Putting the pressure on early. But only sort of time will tell. De Jong with the port ball in. Oh, not bad from Laporte. Haaland only gets the flick on at the back post. I could go back to England. I'll hold another vote. Uh, from what I can remember, Dortmund came second in the polls last time. But you never know. Sometimes you just simply just don't get the offers. We'll just have to wait and see. Haaland looking to get on the break here. That's a penalty. So after, why does that say 16 game played? Oh, okay, in a row, 14 points. Yeah, that's probably not too go good because the amount of draw. What? Oh, that should have been a pen. Um, okay, we'll play it short. De Bruyne, flick it on. I think that's a pretty ridiculous save, to be perfectly honest. Oh, but it's a red. Ah. Oh. So Lucas or Campos has come off. So even though it's a red card at the edge of the area, it wasn't a pen. Mm. Good ball in now, Pogba. He shoots. Can't score. I probably should have opened it up for Neymar. I thought Pogba should have been able to curl and open that one up a bit better. Wow. That is abhorrent. How can you let a ball fizzle all the way over the top to the back line like that? Ridiculous. If I do so. Mounier facing our former player. Torres as well. Danilo Pereira. But look, you never know. And as soon as I just scored there. <laughs> I feel bad for the kid. He missed two penalties last time we faced Villarreal. 
But yeah, we seem to be opening up Sevilla a little bit more. Got a great opportunity here. Holland. Uh, tried to square it and center it to De Bruyne, but it wasn't to be. I really should have got the shot there with him. Sevilla. Just trying to maintain possession. Feed through some nice silky passes. But nothing too testy in the final third. But they might be on here now. Junior Firpo comes up. Laporte. And it's a block shot. To Stegen with the ball out here. De Bruyne tries to claim it. Gets the block in and continues to go. Pogba's up with him support. It's a poor ball to find Holland. And it's back to severe possession once more. Gomez scores an equaliser away against uh, Espanyol. But we need a win here today. If we're going to continue on with our title claim. We are still keeping the pace with Madrid, but they always just seem to be slightly ahead of us. Really interesting, though. We've drawn more, lost less. Well, they've lost more and drawn less. But it's still about the same. Such fine margins. This La Liga season will be decided by one or three points. The Premier League is just so more competitive. Oh, Torres has opened us up here. He shoots and scores. It's Oliver Torres, the former Atletico Madrid man. Oh, Diego Simeone's former boy scores his third goal of La Liga. And we're 1-0 down at home. I don't know what it is. It's like we haven't got a home crowd advantage. Like Old Trafford under my managerial career was an absolute fortress. And now we're 1-0 down to 10 players. Are you kidding me? As much as I love this Barcelona squad I've built, we're, we're, the best way to describe us is we're absolutely spineless. Often at home? Come on. We're Barcelona. Maybe league football isn't for us. We might need to just focus solely on cop competitions. We're doing... We, we, well, we went... Like, challengingly, we actually progressed in the Copa del Way, which was a lot harder than in the Copa de España. But that, that Villarreal loss still lingers in my subconscious as we go to Bayern Munich later in today's episode. Good job by Frankie dropping back. Everyone's a bit exhausted. I might need to make some subs. Coutinho and Usman are going to come on. I was just looking and calculating the stamina. I could have brought on Messi, but he was a little bit more exhausted overall. Torres is running the show for Sevilla. Oh, we can't even get it out. Only as far as Danilo Pereira. Uh, what? Yeah, that you're not going to give a red to Koulibaly. Get out of here, ref. There was just a major collision. <laughs> what? Oh, get on the line, 19 yards out. Laporte's going to have to sit there. This is going to be like one of the best free... Oh, no, they played it short. <laughs> Not too bad by Munier. Former Catalan. Former La Masia graduate. Ball in, saved on the line. They could have made it 2-0. How are we losing to 10 men? Come off it. Oh, good stuff, Neymar. Now we counter attack. Holland. Slipping through Usman. It's Usman Dembele on the right hand side. Usman cuts back. He shoots. He scores. It's Usman Dembele to make it 1 1 just before the 59th. And that's something special there by the Frenchman. Scores the equalizer. His fourth of the season. And brings. Barcelona back into this fixture. Come on, Usman. You French beast. Mwah. Bon appétit. <laughs> Parlez-vous français? Bon appétit. 
Bon Appetit, Bon, bon Appetito is Italian. <laughs> I'm Usman. I'm a man of culture. <laughs> oh, come off it. Pozo, they're already trying to get it in here now. Ball in. Koulibaly dealt with even on a yellow. That's terrible. Boy, shouldn't you fear Pozo? It's like this match is written for severe supremacy. Usman wins that one back. And we're away again. Coutinho. Oh. As if, man. As if you're coming out for that one. Nice one to pass. Sevilla still trying to build something up from the back. 1-1. One, one at home. It's like they're playing better with 10 men. It's like... We're not naturally flowing into our positions and pushing our man-marked men. Like, as we counter, there's more space to run into, but they're just not doing it. Ball in. Oh, come off it. We can't even get it out. Now we go. Come on. We should outnumber them here. Yeah, Neymar has slipped through Erling Haaland, who's a little bit exhausted, but Haaland's away. He's got to score this. Erling Haaland! Makes it 2-1 just before the 76th minute there. Scoring another league goal. He is still Barcelona's top goal scorer of the series. It's Erling to bring it back to 2-1. Get in. Snatch and grab in the second half here. Scoring his 16th goal in La Liga just before the 77th. Barcelona have clawed this match back. From arguably a result we didn't deserve to win. Sevilla going aerially there, which is surprising. And we've got a free kick to build things up. Frankie Dion turns his man straight into danger. Brilliant. <laughs> Barcelona have that 37% possession. We're playing like prime cringe Mourinho tactics here. Ball in. Just hitting teams on the break. <laughs> We're just getting dominated off the ball. Coutinho, Amara away. Neymar's been slipped through there. Do it for Jose. It's jo I hate this offside. W what is going on? It's like they're deliberately calling it late. Maybe there's somewhere in the mod where it gets called late. <sighs> oh, we're out of subs. <laughs> I was trying to bring on Fati, but... Yeah, it just, I just saw... Uz I, I thought... Yeah, because we brought on Coutinho and Usman, but Usman's like already exhausted from that Champions League midweek match. Barcelona tried trying oh, to build something up here. Martial's been slipped through, but he's offside. Surely. It wasn't. I think the flag stayed down. I wasn't looking. Come off it, ref. Have you got a Barcelona agenda? Snake. What was that? Okay. <laughs> it cut at the prime moment, but he stuck out a leg. Seemed more insidious than probably what it was, but... <sighs> Coutinho went up for that. Come on, we need to keep this to 2-1. Park the balls. Park the Boeing 737. Park the plane. Uh, okay. Martial trying to hit on the break. Put it way too far in front. Take a tactical foul, Martial. He somehow won it back. Only as far as Erling Haaland, who has hit the post. He nearly scored there with a couple of nice little intricate flick-ons. But it looks like Barcelona, undeservedly, are going to win 2-1 at home. To a great severe performance who dominated possession. Who weren't simply clinical in the final third. One player down. We progress further. In the title race with Los Blancos. Get in, Barcelona. Okay, we've got a simulation match here away against Deportivo Alves. Although it's an away match, they're probably going to get relegated. Oh, no, this is Deportivo La Coruña. Yeah. I like saying Deportivo La Coruña more than um, Alves. Oh, you're Deportivo. Yeah. Are you Deportivo La Coruña or Deportivo Alves? Where are they, actually? Are they dead bottom? 
Yeah, they are. <laughs> 28 losses. That's why I'm simulating this one. I knew they were sort of down the relegation script. What is going on with the panels? It's taking so long there. Come on. We want a second team, and then we want to place Bayern. There we go. We'll simulate this one. Second team's playing. Suarez starts off the scoring. 3 0. Triore and Thiago Alcantara make it 3 0. Okay, guys, welcome to a very, very exciting fixture. We face Bayern. Whoa, Chelsea are 3 1 up against Madrid. Oh, it looks like it could be a Chelsea slash Bayern Munich slash Barcelona final. Oh, uh, United unluckily got knocked 2-1 out, 2, yeah, 3-2 out by Bayern Munich. Haaland is still our top goal scorer. Laporte's out? I guess he must have picked up, yeah, I guess he must have picked up two yellows. And I didn't even notice against PSG. Oh, no. Long lays out with an injury. I know we've had a centre-back crisis. Who's going to come in? None of my fullbacks can play centre back. Oh, we might have to play PK. Oh, that's that's cringe. Because we've got a couple of youth products that can play centre back, but I don't think they're good enough. My four, three of my four prime defenders are out. That's so unlucky. I guess we're just going to have to go with PK, aren't we? Like Alaba. Uh, playing on the inside. No, we're going to have to go with PK. <sighs> Look at his pace, man. 52. PK's 35. He's an old man. He's been hanging out in the La Masia <laughs> nursing home <laughs> for this entire season. And now he has to host the Bavarians. At the Camp Nou. Alright, let's have a look. Three seasons in the future. On Ultimate Difficulty. At the Camp Nou. Who Bayern Munich are going to be fielding with. Barcelona play the Bavarians. It's all to play for. And we're playing them at home. Which is... I hate. I think we've had our best performance playing away first. Especially against... AS Monaco. Um, we played at home against PSG and didn't do overly too well. But let's have a look at this squad. How have they rebuilt? How have they developed? How have they saved and fixed Bayern Munich? Let's have a look at their squad. Robin Lewandowski's still there. Great. But he's probably nearly as old as Suarez. So I think he's a bit younger than Suarez at the start of FIFA 20. But he should have the goal scoring acclimate. But we're hosting FC Bayern München. They're not playing Jerome Boateng. I saw that Chrome Dome there. Let's have a look at their squad. Bayern Munich are playing a 4-3-3. Boateng. But what is this back line? Oh, I forgot. They've got my play my former player, Arthur. Manuel Noyes, 85 Raider. That's a joke. Pavard. What is this squad? Marcelo. Alfonso Davies is 85 Rated. David Alba's Regen. Donny van der Beek. Arthur, Gnagbri, Rob Lewandowski, and Sane. Okay, so a lot of good players that have gone up in overall. Tremendous attacking front line, midfield, defense. Like, there's no way. There is no way that Jerome Botang, three years in the future from now, is going to be playing center back. We've got to put the pressure on here. We've got to put him to the sword. We are Barcelona. Let's go. Holland to Frankie Diong. Holland back on the ball here now. Erling Holland gets the first shot on target. Now I've got to remember and take into consideration that this is an 85 rated Manuel Neuer. He's not in the high 90s. We can definitely afford to go for those exposing long balls. But in saying that, we're exposed to the back ourselves. You can never forget Klosterman. Oh. The poor defensive age of, it's a pen here, I think, of PK. But Jerome Boateng has picked up a yellow, and I think it's a penalty. 
Yeah, Klosterman gets his shot blocked. Um, I guess we'll let Neymar step up and take this one. 92 pens, he should be able to carry it. Right into the top right against Manuel Neuer. He's only 85 rated, we should score this easy. Are you kidding me? Right, from this day forward, no one is taking a penalty except for Erling Haaland, okay? Even though he's 83, even though Neymar has 92 pens, Griezmann, anytime I've sort of divulged from the plan to Griezmann and Neymar, they miss penalties. Haaland player to watch. I know he's the Champions League. Well, he's the, he's the only Champions League left top goal scorer because that Dynamo Zagreb guy has gone back to Croatia. Okay, this is their first real opportunity. How creative are they going to be and how are we going to answer the, to this? Yeah, great. Koulibaly with a good in interception. Could have get caught there, but they're close. Look at this press, man. I can't even get it out with my fullback there. Klosterman looking for the second ball. That is man marking me so well here. Junior Firpo seems to have the only runaway. Oh, creating something well here. Griezmann at the edge of the area. Keeps on going. It's... Oh, oh, Griezmann, Griezmann, um, I'm singing his name, can't hear me, <laughs> squandered a good opportunity there, it's because both teams are attacking and going for it, this back line seems to be more open than Sevilla's in the previous match, Koulibaly, no, 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 good stuff. Good ball. And now we've got a counter-attack. Pogba with a slick flick on to Griezmann. Back to Paul Pogba. Couldn't get the fiery shot. 2 KDB. Given to Bruyne. Donny van der Beek. There's left Ajax to join Bayern. That's where he ended up. Could be a useful player too. Maybe replace De Bruyne or someone in the future. Ball in. Deal with it. <sighs> Normally that header wouldn't even been probably attempted, but it was PK. Oh, Kimmich is playing as a DM at 90 rated. That's how good he still is. It's Joshua. Joshua Kimmich. Philip Lahm's regen, I like to call him. Ball in. I'm sure he's an individual in his own right and probably hates the comparison. Sane with a good flick on. Nice one-two pass. Sane is absolutely burning me here. Sane does usually have an amazing track record down in Spain. If you guys can remember a couple of seasons ago when he broke onto the scene for Schalke, I think he scored a brace or a hat-trick. That's when like Man City were like, yeah, this is the guy. This is the real deal. But guess what? They couldn't hold on to him. In the end, and Bayern Munich snaps, snatched him up. Oh no, we're at Bayern Munich are away here. It's Robert. Robert the Bruce. <laughs> no, he's Polish. It's Robert Lewandowski to make it 1 0, just before the 42nd. Uh, that's not good. How many goals have he scored? Seven. He's still got it. A lot more than Suarez. And we're 1 0 down. At home. They've got the away goal. Great. I'll take the corner from that, putting the pressure on Alfonso Davies. David Alba's regen. Nice chop by Neymar. Looking for the in-swinger. PK. Oh, my God. That is the best opportunity we've got. And a 35-year-old has done that. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Midfield and forward line. Good job, Koulibaly. Oh, come off it, ref. Half time's going to call and save the foul, probably. I don't think it's going to get called up there. So, unfortunately, after playing the first half, we 1 0 down to Bayern from a 40 second goal by Robert Lewandowski. We need a goal. If we can keep it to one goal, it's still salvageable because we did. We started off in the first match against PSG 1-1. One, one. 
Oh, come on. What are we doing? Like, I, 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 like, I just, like, you isolate the defense. You know that you're up for this match, but you know the defense is poor, but they're really playing out of their skin. Neymar. How is that not a foul? It's a free kick to Bayern. Are you mental? You shoved Neymar in the back, man. Good, good flick on there by KDB. Oh, great. Never fear, Kimmich is here. Oh, and the Germans are trying to blitzkrieg against me here. Arthur, Rob Lewandowski, don't let Arthur score. For the love of God, if anyone's going to score, it can't be the player to leave, let go. Controversial, I know. Neymar's through here, but... Neymar, he shoots. Doesn't claw. I sold Arthur because... He let, like Barcelona rejected him in real life. He would have been at Juventus if this save was created around about the same time, but it wasn't. Good stuff. Now we go. Come on. Where are the runners, man? Oh, I'm sick of this. Frankie De Jong. Good. De Bruyne. Neymar in the box here now. You've got to create something. Why, man, are you sitting there? Why aren't you making the run? I thought it was going to lock on to him. Griezmann. De Bruyne. Good stuff. Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland! We need to make some subs. We need something. Neymar's got to come off. Oh, Erling, the former Borussia Dortmund striker. Can't score against Bayern Munich. Messi, Usmund, Martial now coming on. Usmund plays this one short. Messi holds up the ball well. Come on, give us a little bit of... I'm about to break this controller. You already guys know my frustration with Messi this season. Okay. Just wasteful. I'm just more infuriated because I know we should be doing so much better than this. Like we're losing to a shocking Madrid defense. Look at them go, man. Everything they go forward with, they're going to score here. What a shot. Corner kick now, Joshua Kimmich. This is the new GOAT. Ball in. Uh, okay. It was only as far as a PK clearance. Arthur. They're going to score. They've gotten like two crazy shots on target. They've got the momentum. Cut this out, please. What is this? We can't even get it out. They've had three shots on target. Make a tactical foul. Stick it in. Oh, yeah. PK's going to be burnt here at the back post. How is that a penalty? What? What for? Oh. I don't believe this. Pavard's going to step up. I'm shocked. I think that's it. She's all over Red Rover. Two goals they've scored. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I think we've just lost the UEFA Champions League to a defensive error by PK. And a good goal by Robert Lewandowski. It's Benjamin Pavard to score his first Champions League goal. Against this Bayern Munich back line. Come on, we've got to save some face here. Martial. Messi. Martial shoots. Where's the deflection? Header, header, header. Missing in action. I know. Where is the whole team being? Don't isolate Frankie D. Messi. Yes, yes, yes. PK. Yeah. Kulabali. 
Uh, not even an attempt. That is so hard to come back from. Two away goals in the semis. Like, if we're losing 2-0 at home, how are we going to do it in Munich? Like, what? Messi. Usmund. We need one goal. And again we go. Yes. Messi. Messi. Uh, what? Why are they colliding like that? Messi chops. Only as far as Martial. And they just stack players in those block shots. That's it. The full-time whistle is blown. We have lost here today 2-0 against Bayern Munich. And I think that's our Champions League campaign over. Well, I guess we've still got the league to play for. Stay tuned for episode 18 coming out at the exact same time tomorrow where we resolve the semi-finals in the Champions League. Stay tuned for that. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team or maybe just some games I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link G2A there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, the Patreon Sting Group there as well come and join the community on Steam my name has been CMC stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name has been CMC goodbye Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.